chat gpt is here to stay guys and right here in this video i want to teach you how you can incorporate chat gpt into your whatsapp to automate your whatsapp chat systems or should i say to automate your whatsapp sales system and that is because i've actually incorporated chat gpt into my own whatsapp and guys guess what chat gpt actually closed a sale for me yes like chat gpt literally made me a sale if you know that you are a business owner or you use whatsapp for business or you are planning to use whatsapp for business and you've not yet embraced chat gpt i hope you know that you are sitting on a very very long thing okay so make sure that you stick around in this video till the end because i'm going to be sharing my screen with you very soon to show you a tutorial of how you can actually incorporate chat gpt into your whatsapp system to automate your whatsapp chat yes chat gpt will chat with people coming into your whatsapp dm as if you are actually the one chatting with them do you understand what i'm saying like it would hold conversations meaningful conversations that can even lead to sales with people coming into your whatsapp dm guys do not sleep on this wave anyways guys before i proceed and move on to the next phase of this particular training slash tutorial permit me to first and foremost introduce myself my name is Mandy Rachel Okwilegbe. I am a digital marketing consultant and right here on my YouTube channel, I teach you how to leverage on your smartphone to make money for yourself online. So if you have not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, maybe you are seeing me for the very first time today, I want you to tap on that subscribe button right now. Tap it right now to subscribe to my channel and when you're done doing that, make sure you tap on the bell icon right beside it to turn on post notifications for all of my posts so that when I drop new videos, you are going to be the first to know. Also, do not forget to give this video a thumbs up. Yes, do not forget to like this video. Liking this video will ensure that it gets shown to more people like you looking for ways to incorporate chat gpt into their whatsapp chat system do you understand guys so make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and aside from that you liking this video is also a way to encourage me to keep on bringing tutorials like this for you so if you know you want to keep learning from my youtube channel make sure that you like this video finally you have that friend somewhere you know people somewhere that would need this pay it forward by sharing this video yes share this video to your whatsapp status to your facebook or social media just share this video tap on that share button to share this video right now and also do not forget i love to read from you guys please let me know how you feel about this tutorial did you gain something did you enjoy this tutorial do you have questions right after this i want to read from you in the comment section of this video okay guys let us move on to the pressing matter of the day which is how do we even incorporate chat gpt into our whatsapp chat systems guys see before i go on this is not me just telling you guys what is not this is something i have tried i have used and as a matter of fact i am still using it while i was testing this feature somebody actually sent me a message and this was someone i've been chatting with and following up with and guess what happened chat gpt actually continued the conversation from where we stopped and chat gpt actually closed that sale for me and i made that sale guys can you beat that see at, at this point i don't want to talk too much let's just go right into chat gpt and let me show you guys how you can incorporate chat gpt into your whatsapp system to make your life a whole lot more what easy now guys before we proceed you would need an app called autoresponder this is the logo of the app you would need this app please download this app from google play store and i have to say something again this app is not free Yes, it's not free. You have to pay for the app. However, if you want me to help you with the app, okay, you can send me a message on WhatsApp. I'm going to leave the link to my WhatsApp right in the description of this video. So that is the app that we're going to be needing. And right now, I'm just going to dive right into the tutorial proper. And then I'm going to be sharing my screen with you. So pay very close attention. It's very pretty straightforward. Don't worry. You're going to get it, okay? You are going to get it. Just relax. I'm a very good teacher. Just feel that one. I'll teach you this one perfectly. Let us move into the tutorial proper. So the first thing you're going to do, like I said, you're going to download the autoresponder app that I showed you. So let's just come to just come to your Play Store and then type autoresponder. 
So once you type autoresponder, the app is going to come out. Don't mind my, my network. So this is the app that you're going to download, autoresponder for WhatsApp. Make sure you download this particular app. Me, I already have the app on my phone, and that is the reason why it is showing here as open. For you, if you don't have the app on your phone, you would see um, download the app. So once you've downloaded the app, the next thing you're going to do, of course, is you open up the app. So let's open the app now. Once you open up the app, it's going to show up. You're not going to have any messages because, you know, your own app is new. Do you understand? And like I said earlier, the app is a paid app, okay? So, but if you want me to help you with the app, you know what to do. Send me a message on WhatsApp. The link to my WhatsApp is going to be in the description of this video. So, you click on this three, three, this thing here that I circled. So, you click on it. Once you click on it, then you scroll down. You're going to see docs. You can see docs. Then what you're going to now do is you're going to click on that docs. Once you click on docs, this particular site that is about to open right now would open up for you. Now, before I proceed, ChatGPT is owned by OpenAI. Okay. So if you want to um, link ChatGPT to your WhatsApp, you need to have an OpenAI account. Do you understand? So basically, once you click on docs and this opens, just try and read up all of these messages here but i'm not going to um waste time on all of this just try and read up on all of these messages here so the next thing you're not going to do just you see this chat gpt whatever click on it once you click on it the next um page is going to open up for you so once this open up you can read it as well okay but to save time i'm not going to be reading this so these are the instructions that you have to follow you know i said it i said chat gpt is owned by open ai so you need to first of all create an open ai account okay you create an account get your api key and then you create a new autoresponder rule okay so that's what we're going to be doing right here in this video first of all I told you to download the autoresponder app, which you've already done. Then the next thing, you're going to create an OpenAI account. So just click on this OpenAI API. Once you click on it, it will take you to the page where you're going to create your OpenAI account. It's pretty straightforward, okay? Just create your account once it opens. My network is kind of loading slow. So once the page opens up like this, you're going to see login, sign up, right? For somebody like me that already have an account, I'm going to log in. But for you, you're going to click on sign up okay so let's say you want to sign up now click on just click on sign up here once you click on sign up it's going to bring up the sign up form okay that this form is going to open up for you then the next thing you enter your email address click on continue then just basically follow the instructions to create your account i already have an account so i don't want to go through this process anymore if you already have an account click on login and then it's going to log you in into your account okay so you can choose to Create your account with Google or you choose to log in with Google, depending on you. But to be easier, you can just create your account with Google. Do you understand? But just do it as you so please. Create your account, then we'll move on to the next stage. So let me log into my account right now and then we move on to the next phase of the tutorial. Once you are able to log in into your account and then you have a page like this, the next thing you're not going to do, come to your browser and enter this um um website that says uh, platform.openai.com slash account slash api keys to make it easy for you come back to this page remember how we got to this page this um charge gpc3 come back to this page and then click on get your api key from here this highlighted here this green place this here Click on it because the other method I wanted you guys to use, um, sending you guys a link, it will be stressful. So it's better you just come back here to make it easy for you. So click on here. Once you click on that, it's going to open up this um, website. I wanted to just write out this um, platform.openai.whatever for you guys before. But then again, um, I felt it is going to be too stressful. So just go back to that page. Then click on here. It's going to open up the page for you. Then the next thing you're going to do, just click on create new secret key. I already have a secret key, so I don't want to create another one. Just cl click on create new secret key, this one. Then once you click on create new secret key, it's going to generate a key for you. And it is that particular key that we're now going to go and use in the next stage 
of this tutorial. Remember that this is the next stage in case you, you've forgotten, that is to create a new autoresponder rule. So I'm going to show you how to create that um, new autoresponder rule right now. So let's assume that this is the key this is the secret key that I generated. Do you, do you understand? So what you have to do is just copy the secret key, right? Once you generate it, you will see the copy button beside it. Just click on copy, copy your secret key. Then once you are done with that, we are now going to move on to the autoresponder app that we downloaded earlier. So now that you have your open AI API key, the next thing you're going to do, like I said, come to autoresponder, click on this plus sign here. Once you click on the plus sign, you put your message here. What message do you want to be responded to? Let's say when people send you good morning, when people send you good afternoon, whatever the message that you want people to respond to, you type it here. Let's say you want, you want when people send you good afternoon, any message that comes to your mind, if you have a, maybe you're currently running a campaign and you want people to, when people send you that particular message, you want, people to, you want the thing to respond, type that message here. Or if you want it that any message at all, like even if the person send you I, even if they send you any message at all, just put star. Do you understand? Put star. Leave it at exact match. Do you understand? Then you now come to this place that says should be sent. Don't put anything there. Like just if you want it, like you want chat GPT to respond to any message that you get, just type star in that place. This place, leave it alone at that exact match. This should be sent. Don't put anything there. This multiple reply, don't put anything there. Then what you will now do is that you now click on connect open AI, right? Connect open AI. Once you click on this connect open AI, you will see to say API key. That API key that you downloaded, that you copied rather, paste it here. Once you are done, see every other thing that is there. You don't, you don't have any business with it. Don't touch it. Just click on this OK like this. And that is it. And that is it, guys. Just click on that OK, and that is it. Now, the next thing, everything, any message that people send to you, it, ChatGPT will respond to them. So let us go and test out this thing that we just set up. Just, you know, remember what I said. If you wanted to re reply to any message, put star here, exact match. Don't touch anything. Come to this place that says connect open AI chat GPT. Click on it, connect it, put your API key there. That is all. You don't need to do any other thing. That is all you're going to do. Then once you are done, click on this OK sign here. Then you are good to go. Don't change anything. Don't touch anything. No, don't touch anything. That is the only thing you are going to do. But I must also say this if you want to connect open AI chat GPT to your WhatsApp, you need to be using a premium version of this particular app. So if you want me to help you with the app, send me a message on WhatsApp. So that I can help you with the app or just download it on Play Store and then pay for the app on Play Store. Do you understand? So now let's go and test this thing that we just connected now. Let's go and test it on WhatsApp. So this was the test that I did earlier. But I didn't know that my um, screen recording was not on. So I just simply sent, good afternoon, Mandy. Hello, how can I help you? And then I said, I want to know about affiliate marketing. And then ChatGPT responded. And then I'm like, wow, that's awesome. And then it responded again. You're welcome. And then it responded again. So it's now still asking me, is there anything else I can help you with? So let's say I say, yes, how do I get started? Right, let's say I send this, it is still going to respond. Okay, it is still going to respond to me. So let's see, let's continue from there. So it has said to get started with affiliate marketing, you first need to find a reputable platform that offers affiliate programs, of which Expartner is one of such um, reputable platforms I always recommend to people. Once you select a program, you create an affiliate account, which you know you can create an affiliate account on Expartner. And then you start promoting products by providing links or banners. You can also share content that is related to the product to increase your chances of making sale. Good luck. Now, ChatGPT has actually responded to me up until this point. So when I come online, I can then continue the conversation with the clients. That this is just an example. Like you can, you can literally anybody can. Let, let's let's assume that you are a product seller, and then when somebody just comes to your DM, like I saw your post on facebook i'm interested in the bag you posted so let's say you're a product business owner so let's let's just send this let's see what chat gpt is going to say 
you can say great i'm so glad to hear that the bag is a part of an affiliate program so if you click on the link it should take you to the page where you can purchase it let me know if you have any other questions guys remember i said that chat gpt would chat with people in your whatsapp like depending on depending on the conversation that you've been having before with that person. Now, because the conversation I've been having with this person is affiliate marketing, ChatGPT is an AI tool that is very, very smart and very, very intelligent. So this AI automatically deducted that, okay, this has to also, this has to also relate with affiliate marketing. Since this person uses, um, talks more about affiliate marketing with this particular chat, like, this conversation we've been having on this line has really been talking about affiliate marketing. So ChatGPT is able to deduce that, okay, this person has been talking about affiliate marketing all this while, and then it found a way to bring back affiliate marketing into the back conversation. And that is actually how ChatGPT helps me to close my, 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 my clients. If I have a client that I've been chatting with before and then they come to me and they are like, they want to continue. ChatGPT already knows we've been having conversations before and then it continues for me from where I stopped, pending the time when I'm going to come back online to continue the conversation with the client. And sometimes before I even come back online, ChatGPT would have closed the sale for me already and then the clients would just go ahead and make their payment. So that's what I'm trying to say. So if you know that you want to ease your chat processes, you can actually you know incorporate chat gpc into your into your whatsapp chat systems and guys remember this is computer language this is um this is um ai so there are maybe every once or twice there there could be errors or glitches but overall it is 100 percent advisable and recommended i use it and i think if you also use whatsapp for your business you should incorporate it into your whatsapp as well. So guys, that is how you do it. Anybody can send you any message and basically I just did this as a test. Let me know in the comment section if you got value. If you have questions as well, let me also know in the comment section. So guys, how did you see that tutorial? Are you going to be trying it out? Ensure that you have given this video a thumbs up. So if you've not yet liked this video at this point, don't forget to like it. If you've not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel at this point, don't forget to tap on that subscribe button to subscribe to my channel and also tap on the bell icon right beside it to turn on post notifications for all my videos so that when I drop new videos, of course, you are going to be the first to know. And as well, feel free to share this video, okay? I would love to read from you. How are you feeling? Do you feel like you can fly right now with this chat GPT being incorporated into your WhatsApp? Or will you be trying it out? Let me know in the comment section. If you need the autoresponder app, you already know what to do. You'll find the link to my WhatsApp in the description of this video. I would love to really connect with you on WhatsApp. And until next time when I come your way again in my next video, keep being amazing and I love you.